Taking the boat out onto the water is part of how we live in Wisconsin. Anglers are keeping an eye on the weather this weekend as we approach the opening of the inland fishing season. This morning, the Wisconsin DNR is along the Fox River in De Pere laying out musky nets. And that's where we find our own Cal Larson this morning live learning more about it. Hi, Cal. Hey, Emily, we are learning a lot. I'm not going to do too long of an intro here because Jason with the DNR has a net right off to the side that he's going to show us and explain the process a little bit of what these nets are here for and what they do. Jason, right. I'll let you take yeah. it away. Yeah, awesome. Thanks. Uh, we're, my team is out here on the Fox River doing our annual muskie fike netting survey. Muskies are moving up into the Fox River, into the shallows to spawn right now. And this is the time that we end up uh, doing our fike netting survey to collect data on this population. We have five nets out in the water and how how these work is we stake the front of the net up on shore and stretch it out perpendicular to the shore. The top of this section of the net called the lead has some floats to hold it up near the surface. The bottom has some weights so this lead stretches out and acts like a fence that fish swimming along the shore can't swim through so they try to swim out and around it and get trapped in those essentially a cage out on the end of the net. So you can see a frame sticking out of the water yep. out there. We have five more of those frames behind it that act to hold fish in it until our boat comes up and is able to uh, lift the back of the net up and pull the fish out so and we're primarily targeting muskies with this particular survey but we catch we a lot of different you. fish yeah, species. Yeah you brought some over to show off here. Yeah. So explain what we're pulling out right now All right. and, uh, and so, then what you guys do with the ones you do catch. Yeah, we don't have any muskies in the net right now, but we've got a couple of different species that people might not be that familiar with. This is a quillback. Um, it's a member of the sucker family, and they're called quillback because of their tall um, front of their dorsal fin area here. And when we're collecting data, we identify all the species that we capture and collect lengths and um, different information on it. So we'll let this guy go. There we go. Easy as that. Let's show off one more here before we got to let you guys go. What's coming in the net? Another Let's cool species is a gar. Um, we get a lot of gar in our nets in the Fox River. These are um, really old fish. They've been around for a long time, and they've got some really cool hard scales and um, just a unique fish that people yeah. might not see very often. Unbelievable. So. Well, we can't thank you guys enough for bringing these out here and showing them off a little bit. We're not yep. letting you go this morning. we got a couple uh, right. more hits and some more information to get from you. But, guys, we're on the Fox. We're having some fun. Like I said, a lot to learn. Jason, DNR folks have been great out here. We're going to move up river a little bit more and bring you some more information. We'll send it back to you for now. Cal, that's so cool. All right, thanks. Keeping an eye on the weather as we head into fishing season is part of how we live in Wisconsin. And that's exactly what people are doing just days out from the opening of the fishing season. Fox 11's Cal Larson has been with the Wisconsin DNR all morning long. Hi, Cal. Hey, good morning. We've had a good morning out here. And it's a very exciting morning because of what's coming upstream, I guess, pun intended there. Jason with the DNR back with me. Jason, what's so fun about this time of year specifically as people gear up to do some inland fishing? Yeah, so this coming Saturday is a big day for anglers across Wisconsin. It's the, the fishing opener where um, fishing season's open for various species on inland waters, namely walleyes and northern pike are two of the popular species that open up in those systems. So You got some literature here for us, too. It's a yeah. huge day. Let's show this off yeah. because I so you, you've got, been saying all morning there are a couple different things that people need to take note of as the as yep. the weekend opens. Yeah, so I've got our guide to fishing regulations for this year as well as our inland trout harvest season opens this weekend. Make sure that you check out the regulations um, to know what um, what season's open. For example, the musky season doesn't open on Green Bay until later in May. So even though it's fishing opener this coming weekend, you might not be able to fish for all the various species. And also make sure, you know, you check through the regulations for the waters in your individual counties as of several um, inland lakes and streams may have had some new regulations this year that went into effect yep. so um, check those out in case a new regulation on pike or walleyes or you know trout went in on a, a stream or lake that you're going to be fishing because you guys are always keeping an eye on stuff like that yep. keeping an eye on population and and yeah, what's going into the water and everything to make sure you're keeping keeping the anglers in mind but also keeping the fish yep. in mind yeah definitely course. we want to provide anglers with as many opportunities as possible but our job as fisheries managers is to maintain high quality fisheries that are going to last yep. for a long time so we're out surveying you know anglers and fish as well to manage the fisheries the best that we can so. and dnr website of course a great resource as well for people to yep. learn information uh 
and then the the always important things, life vests on boats and yep. fire extinguishers on boats. I mean, yep. things like that. Get People your fishing license if yep. you haven't as well. You needed a new fishing license starting April 1st for this season. And boating safety, life yep. jackets, throwables, all those things. Yep. So, Jason, thanks so much for waking yeah. up with us this morning. Thank We've had you. some fun out here. It's some great, great information, guys. We had a lot of fun. It's a beautiful morning. We'll go back to you. Thanks, Cal.